All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom, what am I, the Freedom Office? Yeah. Getting ready to do a video on uh, three laws that these individuals who do all the studying think can save lives. But at the end of the day, what it does is it takes away your ability to protect yourself and your family. Before we do that, guys, I just wanted to make everybody aware. We're going to be doing a giveaway here very soon. I was talking to the guys over at our Optics Planet, telling them about my reloading experience and the things that I wanted to do, and I suggested, man, why don't we do this? Uh, let's do a giveaway and help somebody get into the reloading industry or <laughs> reloading field. So what we're going to do uh, is we're going to, and this is how I started, guys. This is the Lee Breach Lock Challenger Press, okay? This is the best way to learn. It's single stage press. You can do everything with this guy that you ever need to do. As a matter of fact, I still have mine and I still use it to decap, deprime, trim, do all kinds of really cool stuff with it. So anyway, we'll go ahead and do a specific video talking about the details of the giveaway, but get ready because we're going to do it. It's going to be a quick one. Uh, we're going to do the drawing on the 12th of this next upcoming week. Anyway, thanks very much, Cal over there at uh, Optics Planet. And uh, really appreciate you working with me. And don't forget, KB32 is the discount code to get 5% off. All right, enough of that. So I, I get these articles, and uh, all you have to do is go around and take a look at some stuff. This is an interesting one. This is it's titled, uh, Three Types of Laws Could Reduce Gun Deaths by More Than 10%. And this was titled by Mr. Michael Price on the 15th of June, 2020. OK, that's how old it is. The reason I'm doing this and this might be boring to a lot of you guys, but the reason I want to do this is this is how people think. OK, if we can take in an, away these laws like the standard ground law and that way it will reduce gun deaths. I'm going to read this thing. It's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> and that this is how these individuals think. All right. Nearly 40,000 people were killed by firearms in the United States in 2018, but curbing these numbers has been a statistically tricky, politically fraught problem. Now, a study that tracked the individual gun laws over time suggests states can reduce gun deaths significantly by doing three things. All right, here we go. Limiting child's access to guns, restricting concealed carry permits, and restricting stand-your-ground policies. I don't see any rhyme or reason to the latter two. I do agree with limiting children's access to guns. I mean, uh, my children, they know not to touch a firearm. But I live in a neighborhood where other children can be coming into our home, and you have to make sure that those firearms are put up and away from little needy hands. Accidents happen. Uh, kids go into depression, uh, <laughs> do the crazy things. The study isn't without flaws, but the basic findings make sense to Eleanor Kaufman, a surgeon and a public health policy analyst at the University of Pennsylvania. And I think we've heard her name before. Stand your ground laws encourage individuals to try to solve problems with bullets. She says, as do right to carry laws, but the laws that limit access to guns for children, she says, could help prevent firearm suicides by making it harder for everyone, not just children, to access the guns in the first place. Let's just make something clear. These people do not like firearms. They probably don't own a firearm, have no skin in the game, so this is easy for them to say. Uh, the, the, the mere thought of somebody saying that they don't want you to be able to carry a firearm to protect yourself, giving you the ability to, I don't know, defend yourself against an assailant, uh, yeah. U.S. gun laws vary considerably by the state. Some, like Kansas, allow citizens to carry firearms in public and make it legal for gun owners to shoot an assailant in self-defense in some situations. No one is standing around. Wow, what a horrible thing to be able to defend yourself. Others, like California, are more restrictive, limiting not only who is allowed to carry guns in public, but also access to firearms in home by requiring safety devices such as a trigger locks or gun safes. Think about that. In your own home, they, they, these people, their goal is to not allow you to have your firearms in your own home. You see this guy behind me? It's unloaded. It's cleared. But there's a magazine sitting right over there. If something were to happen in my home, believe you me, we're taking care of it. This patchwork, combined with limited funding for research, has made it hard for scientists to predict the effects of gun laws on gun deaths. A senior behavioralist scientist at the nonprofit Rand Corporation, and we've heard about those guys before, to limit these problems, Shell, okay, that's the guy, Terry Shell, and colleagues focused on three kinds of laws and one outcome, gun deaths per capita. Okay, so what they're looking at is 
you're going to have one or two persons going to die. A bad guy's going to die or a good guy's going to die, if that's the case. So I don't think it's going to have an effect. But what they're trying to say is that if you lost your right to carry, if you lost your right to a concealed carry, there'd be less deaths in this world. I'm not going to touch on the suicide thing. If somebody's going to kill themselves, it doesn't matter what's going to, what they're going to do. Jump out of a building, drive it into a, a bridge, jump off a cliff, uh, shoot yourself in the head, or OD on some drugs. So that's that. Uh, to understand how law, uh, uh, laws affect death rates, they screen hundreds of existing and novel statistical approaches, finally zeroing in on a model that reduces statistical noise by paying special attention to how different viable variables affect deaths year by year rather than average over long periods of time. The researchers counted the number of gun deaths from all 50 states in each year from 1980 to 2016. Then they examined each instance of a new law limiting or allowing a right to carry stand your ground or child access state uh, through 2013. Finally, compared with the mortality rate or data from the Center for Disease Control, because you know you can... Uh, you can trust those guys for the next years. On the average, establishing a right to carry and stand your ground laws resulted in a slight uptick in the annual gun deaths. So because of a slight uptick, these individuals are going to try to take your right away to defend yourself. Like I said, if you are in a situation, and most people who have a concealed carry, you're not going to pull that gun unless there is a situation where your life is being threatened. Okay, so they would rather you die than defend yourself. This is the shit that just chaps my ass. Eight states presently have constellation laws. Constellation laws. California, Connecticut, Delaware, Hawaii, Maryland, Massachusetts, New Jersey, Rhode Island. And six of those states are at the bottom 10 for capita gun deaths. Again, those individuals, those states would rather you be assailed, you get robbed and be able to protect yourself. However, because the study looked at a relatively small subset of gun laws, more research is needed to adequately understand how differently laws such as background checks and waiting periods impact gun deaths. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to put the list down. I'm going to put the, the article down below. It's an interesting read. But the frame of thought is this. If you don't have a gun, you can't shoot somebody with it. Simple. And they feel like the only people... They can affect with this whole thing. And my frame of thought is gone there. But what I'm saying is, uh, yeah, the only people with guns will be outlaws if people like this are able to make policy and laws. So with that being said, guys, uh, let me know what your thoughts are down below. We're going to be putting out the details of the giveaway here very soon. Uh, I'm only going to have about two or three days to, to jump in there uh, and do this thing. So with that being said, guys, we always end them like this. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. It's freedom is not free. And don't forget to check out KB32TAC.com for the latest deals on the interweb. KB32, I'm out of here. Boom.